Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So, I haven't seen you guys in like a week. So, what has been up? First of all, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I just want to let you guys know where majority of my time has went and letting you guys know that there is nothing wrong with the channel and I'll be putting in tons of content here in the next couple of days. But to go over where I've been, first off, I want to state that something kind of fun and exciting is happening for me and hopefully for you guys as well. I'll be starting up a new podcast with my old roommate, Xenocide Genius, if you guys know him, also goes by Xeno. Um, he is kind of like my manager in a way, sort of, like I don't really have like an official manager, so he's kind of like taking that role and we're trying to see what exactly we can do with this. But in general, um, our previous podcast we ran was also with Ziggy, uh, which was uh, State of Exile, and I wasn't, I was kind of like I jumped in and out as like... Uh, like a guest, I was like a sub host or like an off host, like a fill in. I wasn't really like the number one, you know, I didn't want that. I wasn't asking for like the responsibility. Uh, this go around, we're doing some uh, stuff a little bit different. It's going to be called State of RPG, and it's going to cover current games, you know, upcoming releases, old retro style games. It's going to be much more, I, I guess, welcoming. It's not really just themed around PoE in any type of way, right? Uh, because that's kind of what I like to do. I always told myself when I go into this business, um, I want to still be able to play every game that I want to play. I don't want to just play one game, right? Like, let's be honest, it's kind of a cruel world to live in if you could play video games for a living, but you can only just play one game and that's it forever. And anytime you switch, it's like, well, oh, well. Pfft. So, you know, the whole fun of it is being able to talk about different things. So I'm really excited for that. And don't get me wrong, I love the State of Exile and I love podcasting with people and everything else. But if I want to be like a permanent host on something, I want to make sure that I can make it something super enjoyable to me, something that I look forward to all the time. Um, so that's pretty cool. There's no ill will between myself and Ziggy. Um, you know, we just haven't really talked that much. Just like most streamers kind of keep to themselves. They're a little more independent. So don't think there's anything wrong there. Same thing with Zeno. There was never really any ill will between us. Uh, even when he, you know, moved out and started doing his own thing. He's still streaming. Everything's cool. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, next up, I will just go ahead and say I've been having a ton of fun with Warframe. Like, retarded amounts of fun. No, this is not a sponsored video. I'm actually having a lot of fun with the game. Um, I realize it's not fit for everybody because it is that, that you know, same repetition, instanced grinding, doing the same thing over and over, fighting similar mobs, and a lot of people just don't really enjoy that. I personally really like it, you know? I come from a game called Path of Exile, made by Grinding Gear Games, so that's no problem, really. Um, also, I was configuring some more of the settings on the webcam. It seems that the webcam gets really triggered whenever I unplug it and replug it in. It defaults all of its settings again, so hopefully this should be a bit better for you guys. In terms of quality, that's mainly the reason why there's no, like, anything in the background. I just want to take a moment to uh, hopefully appreciate the upgraded quality. Uh, some other things to talk about is that I am officially sponsored with Blue, if you guys are familiar with Blue Yeti. Um, so that's really cool. We have a new microphone coming on the way. No more Blue Yeti. Um, I'll have all the specs. Well, I, you'll, guys, you'll see all of them, so don't worry about it. This is just a little video. Um, I'm also, I should be sponsored with Corsair. I have to get back to the dude, but I'm using... All Corsair products right now for the most part. I've got a Corsair headset. I've got a really nice Corsair double-sided mouse pad, which is really important to me. This side's a little bit scuffed. Uh, it's really important to me because I play on like very high DPI. Uh, for people who don't know, that's the speed at like your mouse moves basically on the screen. So my average is like 4,500 to like 5.5K. And that's not to show off or say because I have a big EP. -in. That's just important to say because usually my mouse doesn't move very much. So if there's any friction between the mouse pad and my mouse, this is like, why am I using a mouse pad? I'd rather just use it on a surface, clean the surface, and then, you know, you just barely move it like this. Uh, so that's really good to go. I'm also working with a company called Into the AM, which I'll have some clothing to show off to you guys. They basically have like some gamer swag. It's actually for like cheap, affordable, not, I wouldn't say cheap, but affordable prices. Um, and they make really nice, really nice designs of tons of different games. I know that's very, like, broad, but just go check them out. It's Into the AM, and I'll have more information for you guys when I can actually wear the clothing, um, and I can actually, like, talk more about it specifically, but they're really cool as well. 
Um, and most of these people I did meet over at TwitchCon, which was the best part about a lot of this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'm not really going to be playing Turmoil League, mainly because I just, I don't know, I didn't, one, I didn't really have a build for it, and two, I just wasn't really very excited over Turmoil. But Mayhem League, which drops in less than two weeks, I believe, I should be back to playing PoE for Mayhem. I don't want to stop Warframe, so, I, I mean, I am going to have to stop because I really want to play this league, or this just short race, so I'll probably jump in between Warframe, in between PoE leagues, kind of like how I play PoE during the PoE league, and then usually play something else in between, but I don't really know yet. I also have a lot of Warframe content to come for you guys, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know what you want to see exactly, because I really dislike jumping into a game that's already been released for so long, and trying to create content, because like, everybody knows all that stuff already right but i guess at the same time it's cool to watch a new player go through the game and progress which i'm it's kind of sad i didn't make a video series for that i just i did a 20 a 24 hour stream slept for three hours then did an 18 hour stream and then did like a 15 hour stream and my i was just like what day is it of what week why is it cold in texas all of a sudden um so yeah that was pretty much about it but anyway just keeping you guys updated as always um, hope you guys had a wonderful time. As a sneak peek, uh, I might be doing with uh, Zeno for the Mayhem League. He did pretty good in Turmoil. So I think if you're going to duo with someone, you need to make sure you have good compatibility day one. Otherwise, there's not really much of a reason to duo. So there is that. Um, but uh, in terms of builds that I'll play, I've got three off the top of my head. You might say Dan's Game Resident Sleeper Pog Champ. I don't really know. There's the old, good old classic RF Berserker uh, that is either going to come out in one of these races or probably for a league start. Just letting you guys know. Anti-hype, here we go. Um, I did want to check out Explosive Arrow, so I may play Explosive Arrow. I'm, I want to say I'm leaning towards Slayer Explosive Arrow, though, but we'll see. And then the last one, I think, is going to be Freezing Pulse. Um... Although I am a bit concerned because I was looking at what some people are playing in the current league and I believe Ziz is playing Frostbolt Inquisitor and I'm pretty sure that if you put two Inquisitors next to each other using a cold projectile spell, their builds are going to look like 99% similar, right? Um, probably one optimized for solo duo play and one optimized more for party play, but we'll see what happens, you know? I think it's always fun to be a bit creative but I don't really think you can say Freezing Pulse, Explosive Arrow, or Berserker in a creative way. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.